So today I'm going to do a uh, video today to show you guys how I plan to use this new um, floor drop that I had specifically designed for my newborn sessions. This is a vinyl flooring made by backdropsandfloors.com and um, what it is is two designs in one and it's supposed to be super easy and convenient for me to work with. That way I can plan my prop shots and slide from one step to the other. You can see here, these are just um, weights, um, exercise weights that I use to hold the, um, keep them from sliding. So you can see I have that one there and then I have a five pound weight over there in the corner there. But this is the vinyl backdrop and what I really loved about this all in one um, floor drop is that it's made of vinyl. It doesn't tear very easily, it's very thin, but it's also very sturdy. And it's nice because you can just wipe it clean. Um, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty and stained because it's so easy to clean with. The sets that I usually design, I usually love to do a um, prop shot on all white. I have an all white um, bead board that I physically use. This one is very similar to that, so that's my signature look. And then I also had another, um, another painterly um, design printed on the other side. What's really nice about working with backdrops and floors is that you can pick whatever design you want here and then you can also pick whatever floors you want. She has a ton of selections that you can choose from so you can customize it. Um, all you guys have to do is tell her, hey, can we get um, Cindy's floor drop and then she'll know exactly what you're talking about. I worked with Jennifer, who is the owner of the company, on the sizing. So, you know, based off of what I've done, I knew exactly what size I wanted and how convenient it would be. So it's already perfectly sized for you guys. You just have to pick your two designs from her website and then they're um, fairly quick to turn around. I got this within a week or two. I want to say within a week and a half, maybe. It just kind of depends, I guess, where you're at. But later today, I have a newborn coming, and then you guys will get to see how I plan on using it. For those of you who are struggling with your newborn session flow, this is totally worth the investment. You know, it's going to make your life so much easier. You'll get a variety of looks. A couple of props that I plan to use today is, um, so I'm going to shoot one baby. I'm going to shoot directly over my set right there. On my all-white floor, I have a signature look with my bucket, so you'll see there, let me turn this, so I have a bucket, and then I also have my crib, okay? The bucket is something that I made a while, I made this bucket maybe a year or two ago, and it was super easy to make. If you don't wanna deal with making your own bucket, you can totally buy them. There are um, a couple buckets from Blueberry that I actually wanna get, I will probably be investing in those this year. This is a crib, a little wooden crib that I bought on Amazon. Okay, this is a little crib that was, you know, easily purchased on Amazon. I also have a couple other cribs that my husband made for me, and um, there's another one on my to buy list that I will eventually purchase. But I like to have different types of cribs, different textures, different sizes. Um, most of my props are white. I I love white. I like to shoot all white. That's my signature look. I do have things that I do in color, but I usually save that for my parents. I mostly do colors for my parents. But I do have things in colors. If you look at my work, you'll see most of my prop shots are done in color. Um, but hopefully this year I can do a variety. And with the, this backdrop now, making it so easy and convenient for me, I plan to be more consistent with my white look. Um, so I will show you guys later. You'll see what the shots look like with the baby.